Welcome to my English Coffee. Dear friends, you know, the role of grammar in English is very important. Every person should have knowledge of grammar when they want to communicate because it saves our writing works and helps us speak correctly. When we are well concerned with the rules of grammar, we can spot errors and fix them easily. In this video, we are going to discuss some rules of grammar to fix errors and to spot them. Rule number one, numeral adjective plus hyphen plus singular noun. What is numeral adjective? Numeral adjective refers to the natural numbers 1, 2, 3, 4 that are used to qualify a noun. But here I'm talking about the definite numeral adjective. When the numeral adjective is used with hyphen, it must follow singular noun. For example, for three year degree course, here we are using hyphen, but you cannot say the three hyphen years degree course. Rule number two, nouns singular in form, but plural in use. There are some nouns that look like singular nouns, but they are used as plurals. For example, cattle, poultry, swine. These are plural countable nouns, but they look like singular. One thing I would like to talk to you here, swine, it can be used as singular as well as plural. Rule number three, nouns plural in form, but singular in use. There are some nouns. They look like plural nouns, but they are used as singular nouns. For example, shamans, mules, physics. They look like plural, but they are used in singular. For example, bad news travels past. You cannot speak here. Bad news travel past. Rule number four. Nouns always use in singular forms. Here I'm talking about uncountable nouns. They are always used in their singular forms. For example, poetry, prose, scenery stress and I, etc. My dear, you cannot use a or an before these nouns. You cannot talk about poetry or stress and I. That's wrong. You have to talk poetry, stress and I. Rule number five. Latin nouns ending in um. There are some nouns they end in um. Like datum, obium, and adjunctum. When we change them into their plural forms, we have to leave out U and we have to add A. The plural form of datum is data, ovum is over, and agendum is agenda. Rule number six. Singular noun plus preposition plus singular noun if the same noun is repeated or used. So we use CT. This one is singular noun. After this one is a preposition. And CT, this one is singular noun. Words destroyed. As we repeat the same noun with the preposition, we have to use them in their singular forms. Rule number seven adjectives used as plurals. Sometimes you are using some adjectives as plurals. For example, we have to talk about. Uh, the poor, the sick, they look singular, but they are adjectives that are used as plurals. For example, the poor and the sick were helped. Here, the verb is plural. Rule number eight numeral adjectives are nouns. Numeral adjectives cannot be used in their plural forms. You have to use them in their singular forms. For example, hundred, billion, dozen. You cannot write hundreds billions and dozens rule number nine one of plus plural nouns for example one of my friends is a doctor you cannot write one of my friend is a doctor rule number ten nouns always plural there are some nouns that are used in plural forms for example arms spectacles vegetables and trousers you cannot write arm you cannot write spectacle you cannot write vegetable, you cannot write trouser. These are important. Thank you for watching my video. Share and subscribe if you like it.